Hey guys, this is Amanda from DevotionInAction.com, and I am sorry about my voice. I've got a cold. We're in Deuteronomy 32.4, and I just want you to take a look at this page. Uh, I discovered something this past week that I was like, ta-da! Um, gessoing my page always made it very wrinkly. Like, it curled up a ton, and it, it made, like, I don't know. A lot of wrinkles in the page and so then I saw somebody say if you just do it twice that's like better so I just do it twice it didn't it didn't do anything but when I put on a third layer of gesso and dried in between with my heat gun ta-da it flattened out more like it doesn't have near as many wrinkles and I like the texture better so for me the sweet spot of page prep with the gesso clear gesso is three thin coats drying in between with heat gun. So there you go. That's what I did on this page because I knew I'm going to use some distressed inks in a little bit and those bleed through my pages on my Bible. Uh, Deuteronomy 32, 4 talks about God being our rock and how faithful, how just, how strong, how secure he is, how perfect. And I had this vision of this mountain and uh, something that does happen on the gesso is that my pencils are darker. Even when I color lightly with them, when I draw lightly with them, they turn up darker. And I didn't really like that because I wanted to come in with some colored pencils and do this mountain. So I wanted to be able to see the outline of the mountain and these two little rocks on the side, uh, but I didn't want them to be as dark as they were. So I drew them in and then erased them so I could see the outline. This is a fun technique. Oh my goodness, I had so much fun doing this. Um, I learned this from Lindsay Decor, the YouTube channel, Lindsay at Lindsay De Decor. Um, and I'll link that below in the comments. Um, it's like smooshing and she does it with paint and all kinds of stuff, but it's smooshing. So I'm using some just plastic wrap and I just stamped those distress inks on there, sprayed it with a little bit of water. Now you'll notice I kind of wiggle it around a lot because when I picked it up, it started running and I was trying to catch it from the edge. It can be messy, I'm not gonna lie, but it was fun. So I got brought it, brought it back to the center, kind of wrinkle it up a little bit, lay it on the page. Then I just kind of smooshed it around and I picked it up and it, there wasn't as much yellow as I wanted. So I dabbed it around other places and dotted it around and smooshed it around on there some more. This is a yellow from the Tim Holtz Mini Distress Ink um, kit number one. I'll link that below as well in the comments. Um, and then I'm just heat drying in between uh, so that, I don't know, I just did. And I wanted to see the back of it, make sure it didn't go through those three layers of gesso, which it didn't. It was awesome. And so <laughs> I'm just drawing in between this. I had this, I read this verse in Deuteronomy 4 recently that talks about God being a consuming fire. And I, when I started this page, I really kind of, I don't know, those two verses were kind of melding together in my head. God being the rock and God being the consuming fire. And I'm really into yellow and orange and pink right now. So that's why you're getting this yellow, orange, and pink sky around the mountain. Because it feels like God being a consuming fire and the stable rock and mountain. So that's pretty cool. This is, I think it's spiced marmalade is what it's called. It's an orangey color in the same kit on those Tim Holtz distress inks. And I'm doing the same thing. A little bit stamped on some plastic wrap. Spray some water, smoosh it around on there, dry it with a heat gun. This is, oh, the pink. I don't remember the name. It'll be linked. Sorry. Um, smoosh it around there a little bit some more. So what I did was yellow everywhere, then orange coming out more from the mountain, and then the, the really kind of deep, vibrant pink color close up to the edge of the mountain. And then I've got like little splotches of the pink and the orange up throughout almost I was kind of thinking like embers kind of sparking up from the fire on the mountain so that, that was kind of my thought process when I was uh, doing this it took a while this is like super speed speeded up for the drying of the pink because I really got it on there pretty thick and um, it took a while to dry that um, so then I'm looking at it and thinking about what I want to do and I pull out my Prisma colored pencils <clears throat> and um, just kind of, I don't know, grays and blues. Uh, I'll link those below as well in the comment section. I love these things. They You can make so vibrant colors and light colors and I, I don't know, they just feel so soft and fun to color with. <laughs> 
enjoy them very much. Um, so I'm just t- several different tones of gray. And um, in the lightest sections, I actually used a light blue, kind of get the contrast between the burning fire of the oranges and the yellows and the pinks with these cool tones in the grays and the blues of this steady, <clears throat> firm mountain. I apologize again for my voice. My son was so generous and gave me his cold. He was sharing with me. And uh, and I've got this scratchy throat and runny nose, and it's lovely. Um, I apologize. <clears throat> so anyway, I'm coloring in this mountain. And um, I'll also link below to the full devotional that goes with this, kind of uh, my thoughts uh, as I was studying this verse. Um, then I got completely done and I actually painted a rock, like for the painted rocks that you put around town. And I didn't like the way it looked when it was finished. And so I splattered it with some paint splatters and thought, oh, my page needs that too. And I actually love it. I'm, I think I'm, I've started a new addiction to paint splattering. So you'll probably see a lot of paint splatters in my upcoming pages because I really liked how it turned out. And I was painting in acrylics on the rock. Um, so I just mixed a little bit of water in with some of like the dark gray acrylic paint that I was using on my rock and splattered with that because that was already out. Um, so here you see me drying my, my painted rock there. And, uh, and so I have a painted rock and a Bible entry page. So if you're into both things, this is really kind of a fun thing to do. You could put the scripture verse on the back of the rock and, um, hide that somewhere in your town to bless somebody and, and let them kind of see what you were thinking behind your, uh, Bible reading and your creativity and all that kind of stuff. So that's pretty fun. Here's kind of a close up. You can see all those fun splatters and splotchiness of the distressings and that mountain. At the bottom it says, my God, my rock, perfect, faithful, strong. So here it is. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're not already so you don't miss anything. Thanks so much for watching.